Yo, what is good everybody? I hope you had a great Easter. I hope you got to spend some time with your family and enjoy some good meals. So if you celebrate it, and if not, I hope you had a great weekend. Now, I wanted to hop on and give you guys the quick rundown for this week's sneaker releases for the US and Europe. Now, to begin with the US, it's going to be a slow week, but so we're going to talk about a few sneakers that are interesting, uh, I guess needless to say. So to start us off on April 18th, you have the Tigga and Mischief Wavy Baby dropping. I don't know what to make of these as they are an interesting shoe. They're almost like a platform shoe that will hurt you badly. I don't understand the concept here, but maybe on foot it looks a lot better. I would definitely stay away from this unless you like that aspect of it. For me, it's a no-go. On April 20th, you had the Nike Dunk Low Toasties in the Sequoia colorway. It's a very clean shoe. It does have that canvas kind of material, so if you really like those kind of dunks, it is a clean colorway, so I definitely recommend going to get it. Also on April 20th, there's a really cool collaboration with New Balance and Goosebumps. It's the Kawhi 2. Now Kawhi said he drew inspiration from the old school Goosebump books, which also happened to be one of my favorite books growing up, along with Nancy Drew and all those things. I may be dating myself, but uh, those kids nowadays might not understand. Those were some really good books. Go check them out if you haven't. Now, the shoe itself is very interesting. It's clean, it has nice kind of green colors which represents the slime, uh, according to Kawhi. Take a look, hopefully you guys like them. Let me know what you think about them. On April 22nd, you had the Acid Wash Denim AJ6s. This is a very clean and wearable color. I don't know with the AJ6s if it's going to be a super hype kick, but I personally like them. They're not in Europe yet, but if once they get here, I will be picking these up. Very clean, very wearable. Also, on April 22nd, you have the Yeezy Foam Runners in the Sulphur and the Stone Sage. They look the same. They look the same as the Okra. I don't know the difference. Maybe one's a bit brighter or more yellow, but honestly, they look very similar. They're all starting to run together. But... It's a foam runner, it will sell out, so if you want it, go get it. Now, that finishes off for the US. We're gonna be moving over to the EU, and unfortunately, just like the US, it's going to be quite a slow week, but there are some big pickups that we wanna get this week. So to kick the European market off, on April 19th, you have two different Dunk Highs. The first one is a grade school Dunk High Green. It's a clean colorway. I like the yellow hit on the back. It would be quite wearable if it was in a bigger size. So the small feet gang, definitely go get them if you like them. And then you also have the Dunk High Crimson Bliss. Now, I really like how that color pops. It's a very clean color. I really do like a crimson color on the sneakers. It just brings something else to it, right? It's just a clean color. So it is a women's size. So if you have the ability to go get these, and wear them, go get them and wear them. And on April 21st, there is a Women's Dunk Low Rose Whisper. It is a clean colorway. It definitely reminds me of the Archeo Pink. It's, it's clean. It's another Dunk Low. I'm sure it'll sell out. And it looks good on foot, I'm sure. So go get it. If you like it, it will sell out quick. Now, to also talk about the 21st is a big drop for Europe. There are a lot of chances with raffles and everything else, so the Union Jordan 2 Gray Fog is dropping. I am really going to try for these. I hope I'm able to cop them. I will let you guys know if I do. I will definitely do a review if I can get them. It is a really tough market to try to get these, so I am hoping to get them for you guys. If I do, stay tuned. Now, to round out the EU market on April 23rd, you have the Yeezy Foam Runner in the Stone Sage and Sulphur colorway. I spoke about this in the US releases. It is a very similar to the Okra colorway, in my opinion, but maybe in hand it is slightly different. So pictures don't always do justice until you get those sneakers in hand. 
Well, that will round us out for this week. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. It is really helping me grow this channel. I am on my way to a thousand subscribers. I know it's quite small, but any little bit helps. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great week. Take care.